got another one. Same video last week tonight. John, if the uh, so-called leaders in charge have to tell people to help their fellow living being out, you're not living in a democracy where the people govern themselves, are they? Are you? You're living in a fucking despotist enslavement where the people in power have to tell everyone to do anything because that's the only way that anyone will do anything because they've been bred and dependently uh, indoctrinated and enslaved upon the idea that obey your government, your government is the god. Now, hold on, turn that a bit up and go back a bit. Actually could help solve. As a wartime president, he has a major tool at his disposal, the Defense Production Act. It enables the federal government to compel companies to prioritize the production of essential supplies. People have been begging him to use that authority for weeks now, but he only did so for the first time on Friday to force GM, and only GM, to make ventilators. And it's not like the DPA can magic them out of nowhere. It could still take months for companies to make them. That is why it would have been nice if Trump had invoked it fucking months ago. Yeah. You know, as, as a slave leader, as a slave owner, it'd been nice if he'd told his slaves to do what the fuck they should have done for them fucking selves because they claim to be democratic citizens who are capable of self-governments fucking months ago. Yeah. That's just more proof of what I'm saying, John. And everyone else. It's just more proof that you're all slaves. And that the current regime of terroristic tyranny in charge is nothing but an enslavement tool. You want more of it? Of the proof? Other than just, you know, the simple fucking logic that I've presented to you in this video? Go watch any video on YouTube that gives you an in-depth breakdown of how the economic system works. Go watch another video series entitled The History of Your Enslavement. There's a few different channels who bounce that particular set of videos around because YouTube loves to delete it from the system because the slave owners don't like the truth getting around. Well, now, they don't have a fucking choice. The truth is getting around. People are starting to wake the fuck up. Oh, and uh, Infinite Waters Diving Deep and all of you other spiritualist channels, yeah, you fucking called it. I watched as you called it. A few years ago, I watched as you started calling it. Shout out to all of you. Major props. You called it. People are starting to wake the fuck up. Me? I've been awake for a very long fucking time. And for over 15 years... I've been making effort, bitching, ranting, yelling, screaming, presenting the information amicably, etc. to get things to fucking change. Now you have no fucking choice but to hear the truth. And see it for yourselves. So anyway, John. You know, um... You going on like that about Trump? All you're doing is being a slave boy bitching at the slave master. That's all you're doing. If you truly live in a free society where you're free to do things for yourselves, then GM would have started production on masks or ventilators months ago when this shit first hit China and they saw it was a pandemic without the fucking who and the CDC lying about it. They would have done that months ago, back in January, because this started in uh, fucking October of last year. Yeah, it's been going on that long. Yeah, your slave master free world leaders are incompetent, yes. They are tyrannical tyranny of bitches who deserve to die. 
That's the only way. This is really the only way to shake all of you fucking mongoloids out of apathetic delusional psychosis is to provide extremely over-the-top dramatic examples. And that's why in your uh, history, thousands of years ago, your societies used to crucify and fucking torture to death people who, um, who were bitches. And then they started using it on people they didn't like, and they became tyrannical terrorists themselves. And then they just wanted to placate everyone, and, you know, it, it just snowballed from there because they got power sickness. They decided they were better than everyone else. And now, you know, we're here today. So, um, yeah. All you fucktards want to think about the future? Well, here's some more information. America has been established for nearly 300 years. Every 100 years, like clockwork... Either the planet or my true self or Satan goes and makes a, a massive fucking virus and releases it to cull the fucking population because you bitches have no self-control. You can't fucking control yourselves. And quite honestly, I think it's just the planet itself. I've had a nice, decent listen to what the planets have to say. The planet fucking hates humanity really does. So every 100 years, like clockwork, you get one of these viruses, these new viruses that come out and they don't they don't fucking give a shit about containment. They flood all over the fucking planet really fast, killing millions. Now this time they may kill billions. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Just don't know. Not not this time. I don't know. In the past, I may have known, but this time, I don't. Didn't keep track of it. I just stopped giving a fuck. But anyway, they've had history. They've had the American history for 200 years worth to look back and see that this was going to happen. It's happened every 100 years on the dot. It's going to happen again. They could have planned for it. They didn't. They chose to sit on their hands with the thumbs up their ass, going, <laughs> economy this, <laughs> global systems that, economy, economy. Yeah, you fucking idiots. Congratulations. You've proven how fucking incompetent you are. You could have planned in advance. You didn't. Don't come out after, you know, everyone calls you out on this bullshit and say, Oh yeah, we did have a plan. It was beautiful and perfect. Yeah, don't fucking, don't, don't even, don't even bring that bullshit to the table. No one's gonna, no one's gonna swallow this whole shit you're shoveling. Not anymore. You change things, mate. So what am I gonna do? Go back to ripping on fucking Xbox Live? No. You've changed things. And they're not going back to the way they were. There. So now you have it. Every 100 years, it, it's happened like clockwork. And if you want more history, just, you know, fucking go to China, India, and Japan, North and South Korea, and all those other countries who have been there for, you know, hundreds and thousands of years. And ask them. In your history... How often has one of these things come around, one of these viruses, and decimated the world? They'll go through in their history, and they'll pull it out and say, yep, it's 100 years, every, every 100 years, like clockwork. Yeah, here, 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 and here, and here, and it's, they're going to pull out a fucking list. We're like 10 to 15 fucking events in history. Very similar to what's going on now. Well, not in the political sense, but in the, the global scheme, the global scale of things. And you, you can go to other countries and track the progress of these, uh, it, in, not endemic, pandemics, events, these viruses that have been released. You can track them. You just go through the, um, each country and ask uh, which dates people started dying of uh, a fucking disease spreading through the, the 
society and which dates were the absolute highest and 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 look at the peaks and they'll line up with the every 100 year mark trust me i don't even have to look at it and i know because i can just look at the past three four hundred years worth and it's obvious it's a pattern it's repeated itself two or three times already in america it's it's not fucking isolated incident it's every fucking 100 years like clockwork so this the situation i'm not bothered by it because it, it's happened before it's gonna happen again now, what I am bothered by is how everyone's reacting. Yeah, um, let me put it in terms. A man chooses, a slave obeys and reacts. And that's uh, an extended quote. I extended it. And it came from the game Bioshock. Andrew Ryan quotes to the, the main character, the player... A man chooses, a slave obeys. And I just added the bit, and reacts. To someone who has no freedom, reacts to things, because they can't choose to act on the information presented to them. They have no choice. Then the only thing that everyone on the planet is proving to me right now is that you're all slaves. That your governments in charge are nothing but slave masters. And it is far past time for a bloodshedding revolt. Yeah, and all this information is pertinent. It is relevant. It is relative. You want proof of that? Chaos theory, motherfucker. Patterns upon patterns interacting with patterns upon patterns inside of patterns that are more patterns interacting with you, you get it it's that's cast there in a nutshell the patterns and patterns and patterns well, that's just the mathematical proof of how everything is pertinent and relative and relevant whether it's indirect or direct that's not of consequence what is of consequence is how you choose to act on the information and after 15 years of just watching, I'm sick of just watching. Now, I'm taking an active role. Which is why I've got the paperwork. <clears throat> Forget to swallow. Going on a long rantous dissertation. Because I'm trying to get a point out. Right, I've, I've looked for... Um, John, I've looked for a fucking uh, email link. You ain't got one on your YouTube channel. So I'm just going to have to fucking... Tweet out to you and get a, a, a fucking private message. Or direct message. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. Same damn thing. It's a message I get that no one else sees that's between the two of us. So, I'll fucking email you a copy of what I'm sending off. Because, you know, it's been five days and... Someone could have chosen to reply by now. I could have set up an automated bot to reply with something. Someone could have done something. Other than the automated uh, standard message which has been established and in place for the longest fucking time. That lets you know that your email has been received. You know, five days. They, they should have someone doing something. They could have interns working for home, from home. And rifling through the emails and the requests and everything and, and responding appropriately and sending the information to someone else who's working from home. They, re they could have, but it doesn't look like they are, so, you know, fuck it. 
I'm, I'm close to deciding. I'll just send them the physical copy, and they can risk coronavirus infection from the uh, United States Postal Service, if it even gets there. Anyway, that's it for this video. Till next time, fuck right off.